You want to see a magic trick? Ta-da! Hold on, I can't even all fit in the frame. There you go. Heritage units. That, that's going to be the topic of today's video. Hi, and welcome to Caleb's Trains. Just like I said earlier, today's video is going to be about heritage units. Now if you don't know, what heritage units are, are special locomotives that are painted in commemorative paint schemes of predecessor railroads. For example, Union Pacific has heritage units, and the three that we have on our layout are the Southern Pacific, the Missouri Pacific, and the MKT. Those three railroads merged with the Union Pacific to create the Union Pacific we know it as today. Union Pacific isn't the only railroad to have heritage units. Norfolk Southern also has heritage units. And just recently, CSX joined the party with their own heritage units. I really like heritage units. I think they're pretty cool. And of course, they're really rare to see. If you do see a heritage unit, I mean, you gotta be pretty lucky see one of those. Some luck I just have never seemed to have. Anyways, make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you'll miss any of our awesome videos. Smash the comment button if you want to ask us or tell us something. It's down there, you'll eventually find it. Make sure to share this video with others so we can keep our channel growing. And lastly, make sure to check us out on Instagram right here at Caleb's underscore trains. We post trains and baseball stuff on there, so if you want to see more of that, you know what to do. And also, one time my dad got lucky and saw a heritage unit himself. He was able to record it and post it on Instagram. It was the Norfolk Southern Virginian Heritage Unit number 1069, so if you want to see that, check us out on Instagram. And lastly, one more announcement. At the time of the making of this video, we are 28 subscribers away from 3,000. 3,000 subscribers is a heck of an accomplishment, but we can't do it without your guys' help. So if you really enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe so that we can hit 3,000 subscribers and keep producing this content for you guys. Anyways, with all that said, let's go ahead and get to these heritage units. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy railroading! Alright, so this is our first heritage unit. Uh, this is um, the Union Pacific, Missouri Pacific, number 1982 heritage unit. Uh, this is an EMD SC70 ACE. And uh, if you watched our last video, which was about this locomotive, um, then you'll know how I feel about it. I think this is probably my favorite heritage unit. So one of the things you'll notice uh, when you see this locomotive is that it's actually two shades of blue. The front half is like a lighter shade and the rear half is a darker shade of blue. And the reason that Union Pacific painted it this way was because um, of uh, two phases of the Missouri Pacific. Uh, the earlier phase, they had a, like a lighter blue, which you can see present on the front. But in the later years to when they got absorbed by Union Pacific, they had a darker color, which you see on the back. So I thought it was pretty cool that Union Pacific incorporated both of those uh, paint jobs into this locomotive. And um, I love the logo in the middle, the Missouri Pacific logo. And um, this locomotive, I mean, all in all, like I said, I mean, it looks really great. Now, specifically talking about this model, 
this is our newest heritage unit that we've uh, got. Um, we just did a video about it a week ago. So if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go check it out right after this one. And um, yeah, this is, this is a really great locomotive. So um, I mean, that's pretty much all that has to be said about this locomotive. So let's go ahead and move on to the next heritage unit. All right, so this is the second um, heritage unit on our list. This is the Union Pacific Southern Pacific 1996 uh, heritage unit. And uh, this was our first heritage unit. This is the one that started it all off. Um, we got this one quite a while ago, but uh, it's, it's a great locomotive. Um, this is my dad's favorite um, paint scheme for a Union Pacific Heritage unit. And um, it's very vibrant and I really like the colors. It really resembles the Southern Pacific 4449 Daylight because it's, uh, it's pretty much the same scheme but on an SC70 ACE. And um, I really think it looks great. And uh, this locomotive was my favorite heritage unit for a long time until uh, we got the Missouri Pacific heritage unit and now that one took the cake. Now don't get me wrong, I still love this heritage unit. Uh, I think it's a great paint scheme like I said, but uh, anyways, now on to the next heritage unit. All right, and this is our last uh, Union Pacific Heritage unit on the list. This is the Union Pacific uh, MKT, which stands for Missouri, Kansas, Texas, um, Heritage Unit, number 1988. And just like the other two, this is also an EMD SD70 ACE. And um, the nickname for this railroad was the KD. And uh, you can see it in the middle there. It says the KD. And uh, I really like this paint scheme too. This um, this was one of my favorite heritage units at one time as well. Um, I feel like every time we get a new locomotive, it's like my favorite for a while. I think it's just because I mean, look at these. I mean, look, just look at these. These this this look great. Um, Lionel did a great job on these models and. Of course, Union Pacific did a great job on these models, too. Um, they're not models, the real things, but you know what I mean. So about this model specifically, um, this uh, model is the newer run of the Lionel um, Heritage Units, where the other two were the older ones from 2007. Um, but uh, one thing that the 2007 run has that this one doesn't is uh, engine-specific crew talk. The crew talk says uh, UP 1996 and UP 1982, but this one doesn't say UP 1988. But on the other hand, this one has all of the uh, new and improved Lionel sounds. It has the five horns and five bells. But uh, the models themselves look similar. Um, one thing is that this locomotive has the updated um, PTC antenna rays on the roof of the cab, but um, yeah, I, I really like this paint scheme. I like all three of these paint schemes, and uh, that's why we have all three of them. And uh, yeah, so that pretty much wraps it up for our three heritage units. And now let's go ahead and get right into this run session. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, Happy railroading!